This is DJ Wolf Live. All right, guys and gals, it's the uh, first week of December, December 2nd, 2019, on a dreary Monday. <sighs> you know, I was thinking about something. I actually had a YouTuber, <laughs> or a troll, in this case, he was a troll. He wasn't just you, he was a troll. This as much uh, didn't like what I said about the Colin Kaepernick uh, situation, trying out uh, with the Lamb Falcons and then also trying to run the show at the same time. He didn't like what I said. He didn't like what I said at all. <laughs> you know, and he just started dropping name calls instead of just you know being an intellectual about his take on. But he won't tell me I don't have no facts, but everything I said was facts. Yet he didn't bring any facts to counter. The ones that he said that I had that weren't facts. That's what I understand. And then instead of stating facts, he acted out like a little bitch and decided he's not going to say anything about whatever facts that he can counter me with and call me names instead for no reason. A guy who I, I've always respected, never had any issues with, you know. But nevertheless, uh, what I want to talk about is. Uh, this brings up a, a, a bigger issue in our community. The lack of proper communications in our community. We don't know how to communicate with each other, man. And we don't do a great job of it. We don't do a good job of it. We don't do any type of job of it, period. We, don't, we just don't. We simply don't. You know, we never have. In our communities... We've always had a bad habit of improperly communicating with each other. We don't know how to talk to each other. We don't know how to say, you know, hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I should have thought about what I was, you know. We don't know how to talk, talk, talk to each other, not even in proper English most of the time. We don't. You know. And part of the problem is we don't know how to be apologetic for the things that we do. We don't want to recognize the wrongs when we're wrong but we always want to be big big up right for the stuff that we say whether we're right or wrong and don't like to recognize the error of our ways that's part of our problem man we, we, we don't like to be corrected we just say whatever the fuck is on our mind and you have to accept it no in-betweens no you know look at my point of view Look how I see things and have a better understanding so we can come together to a commonality. No, we don't want to do that. It's this way or no way or the highway. You know, we don't see that side. We don't see nothing to do with it at all. That's part of the bigger issue of a problem in communities, man. We like to look at everything from one side deal. It lies the bigger part of our problem in our communities, man. We don't like to. You know, we don't teach values anymore. Think about it. 70% of all single-parent homes are, uh, in African-American communities are predominantly women. The women-driven, the river, r- women run. You know, that's a prime example. It's run by emotion, not logic. All emotion. And then they raise a bunch of guys who gets emotional. But they tell you they're not. And guess who they always big it up? Their mama. Because they don't have no strong, positive male role models raising. That's a fact. I'm not saying nothing out of turn. I know some of y'all trolls will be talking all that stupid shit. Hey, you can't do that, man. You know what the hell? My mama, my mama, great. Me like a man, but she a man, and you know. No. That's another thing. The other misnomer about women can make, raise men to be uh, 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 just as good as a man. I had one YouTuber trolling, talking about, well, but don't you know men can't raise girls to be, be women? I never, I'm, I'm like, stick to the subject. We ain't talking about men trying to raise uh, well, girls to be women. That wasn't even the point. 
What guy have you ever heard say he could raise a girl to be a woman just like a woman? Hmm. I'll wait. Hmm. Time's up. No. Ever. Never. Never, ever. Okay? Because guys don't do that. Women do that. Women go around tomorrow. I can raise her. I, I'm born to be a man just as good as a man. I've heard women say that. And I'm like, I call bullshit on, on it every time. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. You know? That's part of the problem with communication. You thinking you could do something that's that's totally impossible. And yet, women are bigged up on it. Yo, you can do that. No. You weren't meant to do that. Ever. You know? But the communication thing is a big problem as well. You know? When we don't properly communicate with each other, we just sit there and slam each other all the time. Instead of you wanting to hear the other side of the coin, you want to just call people out their names and talk about, you ain't got no facts, motherfucker, and all that old stupid stuff. Instead of listening to their side of the argument. You know? I, 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 I talked about one big YouTuber who always get called a coon, but yeah, he presents facts about what's going on in our communities. Stuff we already know about but don't want to recognize. See, that's the problem. We cherry pick shit all the time. And that's a bad part of communicating because we cherry pick the stuff that we only want to talk about instead of the stuff that needs to be addressed. You know, as I we're talking about we're calling carefully, talking about you know uh, addressing the issue about innocent black men and women being shot at and brutalized and killed by cops. That is a true statement. Don't get me wrong. That goes on all the time. It's always well. It's never stopped going on. The thing that, that the other things that aren't being addressed is what we're doing to ourselves in our communities. That's the one thing that nobody wants to talk about. You know, we know why it's there. Part of it is economics. The other part of it is, is single mothers raising boys and girls by themselves. All right. That's the other part of the problem. But then you got some single mothers that get to a point where they don't have a problem raising Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight children by himself. And they talk about, well, I'm strong. I can do this all by myself. First of all, you shouldn't even be putting kids in that, in, that, in that kind of predicament in the first damn place. Will people be able to tell you about it? No, because half of y'all ain't going to listen to it. That's a fact. Some of y'all just won't hear it at all. Or don't want to hear it. You know? problem is not only lack of communication lack of listening to anybody lack of understanding lack of cohesiveness a lack of uh, wanting uh, to have a commonality to talk about and address the issues that are affecting our communities and trying to find some ways of resolving some of this stuff and, 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 and at some point, getting this stuff out of the system of our communities. Because some of it we really do need to. Because some of it's so toxic to our communities, it's not even funny. And y'all don't want to talk about that either. You know. And you wonder why some people won't go back to the hood. You wonder why some people don't go back to their communities or their families. Because they get tired of drama. It's like the one about the guy who wanted to go to Florida State and his grandmother and mother wanted him to go to Alabama. It was his choice of where he wanted to go because they were both offering scholarships. At some point, you got to let the young man make his own decisions. He was well over, he was over 18. You know, you guys weren't paying for anything. Let him make his own decision about where he want to go. If you raise him right in the first place, he, he'll know it. He needs to do. He knows what he's responsible for doing. Yeah, you still have to stay on him a little bit, but still, you know, lack of communication again. They didn't. They weren't hearing any of what he his decision was. They wanted to go with their own narrative. That's the biggest part of the problem. 
We want to go with our own narratives and nothing else. We don't want to hear what nobody else got to say or any of anybody else's opinions. We just have our own. We have our own mind made up about what we want to see and nothing else. It's like with the Harry Tubman one movie. They said Harry Tubman is a superhero. No, Harry Tubman was not a superhero. She was a hero for what she did. She was not a superhero. To me, when you say that, you're trivializing what she actually did. As heroic. Not super heroic. But heroic. You know? Not a real life American uh, heroine that saved a number of slaves. No. Just a superhero. You know, played by a woman who wasn't even raised in this country, which I, I have a little bit of a problem with. A woman who even admitted didn't know anything about Harry Tubman before she even did the role. Now, it ain't too many African American women in this modern era that don't know about Harry Tubman, unless you've just been hiding under a damn rock or never read a book in your life. You know. I'm going to keep that honest. But there we go again. Lack of communication. You know, we don't communicate. We don't ask community as a group. We don't. Look at all the stuff that's going on. All these shootings and stuff that go on in our communities all the time. Well, people don't communicate. They just pop off. Kids shooting YouTube videos of each other fighting. Come on. Those are prime examples of what I'm addressing right here. And until we start addressing the real issues and, and, and start really, really getting deep down and doing the things we need to do and instill more values from the ground up. There was one other thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, this one kid... Uh, he's five years old now, named L.J. Wilson. I'm going to give a big shout to the Wilson family. This young man is an incredible, has an incredible God-given talent to drum. He's been drumming since he was 18 months. And I'm like, I'm still blown away by it. I saw a video of him doing it as a baby. I'm still freaked out by it. And he was drumming like a pro. Those are the kind of things we need to still our children. Talent. And the one thing that I can say if he could do this in 18 months, ain't no excuse for you not being able to create your own talent or to build on your own talent and to help your children build on their God-given talent, even early on. Okay? It's called communication, folks. No excuses for it. Especially in 2019. It's DJ Wolf.